Thanks for joining us. For years, residents in the town of Dane had their lives at risk. Well, though many of their homes were closer to Lodi, they still had to wait sometimes five times as long for an ambulance from Wanakee. Now all that has changed. Amy Reed explains how it happened. When you're out on the farm, things seem to slow down and everything just feels right. But it doesn't always go right. Donna Taylor knows that. You were having a stroke or a heart attack, I, you know, they, you know, the quicker they can get here, the better chance you might have of surviving. Her home is in the town of Dane, only a couple miles from the border of Columbia County. But for most of her life here, if something went wrong, she'd have to wait for an ambulance from Wanakee in Dane County, which compared to nearby Lodi, takes 15 minutes longer to get here. It's like 15 minutes more than I wanted it to be. You know, I wanted it to be as fast as quick as they could be. Luckily, she wasn't the only one who saw that. Coming here, it was like, why, why do we not cover that far, you know? And the answer is politics. Chief Russ Schaefer with Lodi EMS did too. So did the director for Wanakee EMS. So when the town of Dane approached them about figuring out something that could work better, they were all, all for it. It could mean the difference between life or death. You know, if we get, we get a patient in cardiac arrest uh, a mile over our county line, you know, their chances of survival decrease 10% every minute that they're without any CPR or anything. After figuring out a contract between the town of Dane and Lodi EMS, here are the new borders drawn based on response times and not county lines. Now everything north of 113 and Highway P has their response times cut. And that's pretty good for Donna, because even if everything feels right and the minutes seem to move a little slower, the minutes still count. That's nice that they're going to... Now we can get together. I, I'm all for that. The chief of Lodi EMS said he doesn't think this is a unique problem. Counties often draw response districts based off of county lines, and he hopes some of these other towns near borders take a look at this, too. Yeah, important issue. Amy Reed reporting. Amy, thank you very much. Well,